Here is the 2024 Audi RS3 sedan in glacier white over black interior. This example we're showing today has quite a bit of features, starting with the black optic package, the RS design package, technology package, the sport tuned exhaust. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides. I'm gonna go over some pros and cons. The problem that I have with the RS3 standard matrix LED headlights in daytime runnings. It's a signature RS daytime runnings that has a checkered flag. The gloss black elements for the single frame Audi grille is because of the black optic package. The Audi O-rings are now black with it and the badging the only thing you can see is the red for the rs3 the front overhang is two inches longer than the a3 and the s3 it's a wider stance the front air pocket is larger and this is more track derived because you're getting a zero to 60 under four seconds and when you're comparing this against bmw and mercedes you're gonna be spending a lot more money to get something that's similar to this 2.5 liter tfsi inline five cylinder engine. That's producing 401 horsepower with 369 pound feet of torque. Paired to a seven speed S-Tronic dual clutch automatic transmission reaching 60 at 3.6 seconds. The top speed at 155 miles per hour. Now the BMW can go up to 177 miles per hour, but then when you're thinking MSRP or price to price, this is going to be less money. That's gonna be a little bit better in weight distribution at a 52.1, 47.9. Mercedes will be closer to this one with the geometry. And because of the black optic package, we're getting the side sills, the side view mirror cap, shark fan antenna, and the trunk lid spoiler. And you can also option a carbon fiber package, which will give us the carbon fiber elements. Staggered setup, this is a 265, 30, 19 inch in the front with the matte black wheels, 245, 35, 19 out back. The red calipers are housing six pistons. It's nearly a 15 inch disc for the front. It's vented, slotted, ready for performance with a single floating caliper in the rear. And as a quick comparison to the A3, zero to 60 in that, is three seconds slower than this. And this has a curb weight of over 300 pounds. The A3 will have a four wheel independent suspension. When you go RS, it's gonna get an RS tuned suspension with dynamic damper control for the front and the rear. And to put the performance in a little bit better perspective, the Porsche 911 Carrera S, that's over $130,000, gets a zero to 60.1 second quicker than this, with only 42 horsepower more than this. You could buy a his and a her, and take these on the track and just have as much fun as those vehicles, and you're saving with service. The back gets the standard LED tail lights. The lower is going to get the gloss black elements with the grill pattern, with the oval exhaust from the RS. They're gloss black because we have the sport tuned exhaust, which I would recommend that because it just highlights the performance that you're getting in anybody in its class. Whether you go to BMW, Mercedes, even up to Porsche, you now see what you get with performance for the RS. Quick release going into 8.3 cubic feet of storage. I like the entrance a little bit better here because it just kind of slides in, even though you have a little bit of a lip, but it's not so much clearance to slide anything in. 12 volts, a storage nook. I've left the floor mats out so you can see the RS badging and the contrast stitch. Underneath the floor gets the battery and some storage with the bag holder. And you have to go into the back to actually fold this down at a 40-60 split and that will maximize cargo to this RS3. But we need to go inside, start it up so you can hear that exhaust note. way power seat adjustment for the front with manual cushion extensions, heated front seats. The honeycomb is going to get the contrast stitching. We have the design package, which gets the red on the sides. That also gives you the steering wheel that has the Alcantara and the floor mats with the RS badging and memory for the driver. Headroom and leg room be a lot more sporty and that's to be expected a driver focus setup the red that's going in between the air vents that's 
part of the RS design package. Carbon Atlas inlays is going to be throughout with the Quattro badging 10.1 MMI with navigation because we have the technology package. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio. That package also includes a heads-up display and the upgraded Bang & Awesome sound system. Push it into reverse and we get a reverse camera with the auto park and it does have trajectory. Click into the vehicle, Audi driver select. You can change it to auto, dynamic, and you can hear that exhaust note. You can also go into the performance here and change everything as well to make it as performance driven as you like. And it includes the RS button on the multi-function steering wheel with the RS badging, paddle shifts, a 12.3 Audi virtual cockpit that goes through an array of information, including turn-by-turn -turn navigation. You can expand it. You can also make it smaller. You can zoom in and zoom out. Dual climate control settings is standard. The driver mode select, you could click right here on the fly to make it quicker. Wireless charger with two USB ports. Gloss black elements is going to surround the rocker and you just simply move your finger around here to turn it up and down and push the button on. There's a little area for the key fob here and here it is for the RS3 with a 12 volt charger. This is pushed back a little bit. It's gonna be more sporty. It opens up into a small storage pocket. Auto dimming rear view mirror, LED interior lights with a moonroof, and the dashboard and door panels integrated together and it gives a sporty style. It's gonna be soft right in this area, otherwise it's gonna be firm everywhere else. Ambient lighting, one touch up and down for all the windows with a long storage pocket that carves out a beverage holder in the front and a storage pocket for the driver. Headroom for the back, it's gonna be a little bit more tight. Same thing with the leg space if you're at six foot three with a storage net on both passenger and driver, air vents, USB ports, and you could toggle this to be hot or cold so it's similar to a third climate control. Cup holders with an armrest and the door is going to be pretty much the same as the front. It's gonna be just soft here with the ambient lighting and the storage pocket's a little bit smaller, but it still carves out a flask holder. Sliding into the center, the floor isn't flat. The rails are not pushed up enough. So I'm gonna be sharing some feet space, making knee space also being shared along with leg, but in shoulder space. And sitting into the center headroom is gonna be a little bit more questionable. 401 horsepower, 369 pound-feet of torque, Reaching 60, Audi claims 3.6 seconds. When you're thinking about a vehicle, this is under $70,000. Usually, it's gonna be over $100,000 to get that. My favorite variant is a BMW M4 competition, and that has 501 horsepower, and the zero to 60 is right at the same. Now, the weight distribution is better on that end, but you're gonna have just as much fun and you're gonna have savings here unless you're wanting a convertible like me because they don't make a convertible for the RS3. And now for the performance. Gets up to speed fine. You're not gonna have any issues with that. Going onto the interstate and this is where you're going to start hearing and feeling a lot more of the imperfections in the road and the exhaust note doesn't filter in as much, but because it's a smaller vehicle, you can maneuver easy. The steering is pretty light, just a substantial amount of road noise, which is to be expected because you are getting a RS tuned suspension with the dynamic damper control. Not so concerned about the brakes because I got six pistons in the front. And if I take the active exhaust note, now I'm not hearing anything except for road noise. The comfort in the seats are good. I like the cushion extensions because it makes it a little bit more comfortable for somebody tall like me. Even though you sit kind of low, visibility is still relatively fine. It's an everyday blend with performance, and that's what I like about the RS3, but it's gonna take me to some pros and cons. Starting off with the pros is the amount of power that you're getting for the price is great. The con, you do have to add a few features in order to make it look like this and to have some of that exhaust, in which I feel when you're in the RS, you should get a sport-tuned exhaust as it is. 
Some other pros is the driver focus setup makes it feel a little bit more engaged. I actually want to use the paddle shifters a little bit more so even though they're plastic, which is a con. When you're driving at low speeds, the suspension is actually a little bit more smooth. When you're going a little bit higher, you can feel the bumps a lot more so. And when I'm thinking about competition, BMW, all of which are going to cost more to get something similar in performance with a zero to 60 number that this gets. The big problem that I have is the gearbox to this. Usually dual clutch automatic transmissions change a little bit more seamless and it's a little bit more fast and rapid. Here, sometimes it's looking like it is lost, like it can't find the gear. And then when it finds the gear, it just goes. So as an example, this is just normal. It should be changing gears way before that, and it's not. It just keeps going, and I'm not mashing on the pedal, which I get it where I was already driving the vehicle. It should feel like it's ready for performance because that's what I've been doing. However, I've also been driving this vehicle a little bit longer than a few scenes. But look at this thing. It, it's, it's a rocket on wheels. Look. Playful, athletic, I don't know what Volkswagen was thinking because why would you go into a Porsche when you can get this example and it's just as fast, if not faster, than the majority of the Porsches at a hundred-ish thousand dollar price point. But let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Check out the next video, merchandise, website, and Instagram. Leave a comment and a like. And I'd like to thank Audi Clearwater for giving us this 2024 Audi RS3 sedan for our car review.